All right, so I'm about to go see Everything Everywhere All at Once. I'll let you guys know if this movie is good or not when I get out. That movie was absolutely bonkers. It is one of the most unique, refreshing, and downright brilliant movies that I've seen in the past three years. I know that Sonic 2 and uh, Ambulance are also coming out this weekend, but please do yourselves a favor and go see this movie. I've been waiting for so long to see this, so you're gonna watch it with me. <gasps> he wants to divorce her? Honestly, like, I feel her franticness, though. I feel this. No more Google eyes! Honey, is this the multiversal stuff? <laughs> Why did she just call her fat? Oh, she was born a girl. She looks so scared! <laughs> I don't know we're in this universe. This is so exciting. The mob. <laughs> Ooh! What's he doing with the chapstick? What's <laughs> going on? <laughs> this fanny pack. I will lie here. It's the daughter. Or false queen. What's up, guys? This is my analysis on everything, everywhere, all at once. Spoilers ahead. If you haven't seen the movie, save this video for later. I'm so over the moon happy that there's finally this type of representation in media. I feel like this movie beautifully depicts the experience of intergenerational trauma of first and second generation Asian American and how everyone within the family system is affected and perpetuates the cycle, the circle, the cycle of trauma. The main character of the movie, which is the mom Evelyn, learns through her trauma of being physically neglected that in order to love others, you have to we all know a picture is worth a thousand words, but this picture is giving a million of them. Michelle Yeoh won her first Golden Globe for her performance in Everything Everywhere All at Once, and Jamie Lee Curtis's reaction is giving me so much amazing serotonin because it's getting me so hyped that the love and pride that she has for her friend, her co-star, winning this award is so beautiful to see. And let's not forget that movie husband won as well. He took home his first Golden Globe and we love to see it. And y'all don't understand, this movie will leave you feeling bamboozled and led astray, but satisfied and excited at the same time. You see my face? This movie was good. I just watched the best movie I've ever seen in my entire life. This was my reaction after watching it. The movie is called Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. This movie is the epitome of the human experience. You will literally feel a zest for life again after watching it and after crying for two hours. When I tell you that they have you entertained by watching two rocks sit there on the screen for 10 minutes, I'm not joking. I just watched this movie and never in my life have I experienced what that movie going experience was like. <laughs> I'm flabbergasted. I feel like I just went on a spiritual awakening. I opened my third eye. Everybody was laughing the entire time. People were crying, gasping. This, this is what movies are about. This is, I don't know how the directors could ever make something better than this movie. Like I'm being dramatic, but I'm stunned. I was truly speechless. Like, half the people in the theater were just crying, looking around at the end, like, did we just all go through this together? I'm not joking when I say you have to watch this movie and please go to a theater. It's not getting huge distribution, but it absolutely should. It's unbelievable. Mrs. Wang. Mrs. Wang, are you with us? Where this story is going? It does not look. I'm not your husband. I'm another version of from another universe. I'm here because we need your help. Very busy today, I to physically show up for them. The daughter's trauma of being emotionally neglected learns that physically being there for a loved one means nothing when you cannot emotionally show up for them. The heartbreaking truth is that both people love each other so much, but they're loving each other in different languages. 
The daughter expresses her love by emotionally processing and holding space for not only herself, but her mom as well. And the mother loves the daughter by continually showing up physically, but emotionally neglecting herself and her family. The daughter wants so badly to feel validated by getting her mom to see the truth, to finally wake up. And the mother so badly wants to feel like her sacrifices are validated by her daughter being there for her and not abandoning her. The thing is, is that neither of them are able to get their needs met by each other and within themselves. I think this is why Evelyn was so enamored by the other versions of herself, because it was extremely validating for her to see herself physically succeeding. Whereas her daughter doesn't find physical success as important or as validating. The mother feels a sense of purpose by protecting her family physically, but the daughter has to go through the task of processing the intergenerational trauma and the cycle of trauma, which is represented through the bagel. Having the awareness to know how trauma is carried out through every individual in your family, how it not only hurts everyone involved, but also how it simultaneously holds everyone back from their full potential, is such a heavy weight to carry and a lot of second generation asian americans carry that weight i feel like you're trying so hard to get someone you love to see the truth for the betterment of their own life and the betterment of your relationship with them to reach the full potential is a lot of responsibility to carry on your own no wonder the daughter felt resentful hopeless and apathetic the difference here is that when they finally were both able to see the truth, so when the daughter finally showed the mother the cycle of trauma, shows that breaking the cycle of trauma is not a one-person job. It takes one person to process and show the cycle, and for everyone involved to be able to see what the cycle is and what the cycle means. I think the hard truth for a lot of second-generation Asian Americans to swallow is that you cannot close the gap on your own. You cannot heal on your own. The mom took action on closing the gap, but the mother wouldn't be able to do so if the daughter wasn't there to show her that there was a gap to begin with. <laughs> he like inhabiting her husband's body. Okay. It's like dream walking. Okay. Do something random. Weird. At universe she was just in was like a local universe. So it was extremely similar. Um, he did not stay with her husband in this universe, got it. He did not just say that to her husband. The alpha verse? She just killed him with a penis. <laughs> Her dad? What? <laughs> oh, they want to kill all of them so that she can't inhabit their bodies. Oh my god, she's so smart. Isn't her memory or her mind going to crack? Like she's messing up all her variants. Oh. The end. No, this is not the end. Stop. She wouldn't exist in any of these universes, right? Because she never married him. No, she's her mind is cracked. The actress playing the daughter. I mean, they're all phenomenal, but like she's. Oh my god. This movie's killing me. <laughs> that was the weirdest movie, but it was the best movie. I have so many thoughts.